Imagine that the year is 1979 and you're building Zork, a text adventure game that would become so influential that it would inspire the modern day AI chatbot. Where would you start? Your task is to build a parser that sits between the player and the game logic and connects the two together. To get started, you need to understand what this game actually allows you to do on its most simplistic level. Generally, Zork lets you do two things. You can move to different locations and you can interact with the various things that are in each location. To simplify it even further, the entire gameplay is really just a bunch of actions and objects. See what I'm getting at here? It's just verbs and nouns. This is how your parser is going to, well, parse. It takes a plain English input, like grab the lantern, and matches each word to its meaning. Grab is the verb, or action, and lantern is the noun, or object. The is completely optional. But parsing is just half the battle. How do they figure out how to use this to make the game playable? Find out by watching the full video linked below and subscribe for more content like this.